Hello everyone and welcome to the tutorial series of Dockers on Raspberry Pi. So in this tutorial series I'll explain you how you can install Dockers, how to create a Docker image and push it to a Docker Hub, how you can create a Docker Swarm and how you can use a good UI tool to monitor your Dockers and Swarm network. So in this first episode I'm going to tell you how you can install Dockers and run a simple Hello World example. So I'm using Raspberry Pi but you can use any Linux systems or Windows if you want. So let's get started. Installing Dockers is very easy. All you need is to run a simple command. I am using putty but you can use any other terminal software you want or you can use VNC and log into your Raspberry Pi and directly access this terminal. So now let's enter the command. So basically this is the command which you need to which you need to use to install Dockers. So the docker installation is now completed. After this is done, you need to give pi user permission to run docker. So for that, run the command. Now after this, you need to reboot your pi. Now the docker installation is complete. Now it's time to run a hello world example. But before that, let me just tell you about the two docker commands which you will use more often. So one command is docker ps. What this command does is it lists all the containers which are currently running in your dockers. Another command is docker images. What this command does is it lists all the images currently installed in the dockers. So as you can see at present we do not have any images or any containers running in our dockers. So now let's run a hello world docker image. Now what this command will do is it will download the hello world image and will install it and will run its container. So let's do that. So as you can see it is pulling it, here it is pulling the hello world example and it has downloaded the newer image. So looks like a docker installation is complete and it's it's successfully running. Now let's do docker image. So you can see our image is there which means that we have successfully installed the dockers. So this is about the first video. In the next videos I'll, let, I'll tell you how you can convert your uh, python code into a docker image and how you can create your own docker file. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe and comment if you have any issues. Thank you.